In this video we're going to finalise our work on certs and some bits of indices and, and pull the two together at, at some stage. But just look at some examples of what you will be um, starting to do when you go into AS. And whilst it's not a topic alone, um, it is really quite useful for uh, calculus and some of the higher end sort of algebra you need to be comfortable working between them so we'll look at some more testing examples that would be the top end of GCSE and somewhere in between the two and to some extent the start of AS so what we know some of this basic stuff we're comfortable with this now let's look at some of the notation that we've got here this one right here we've got the third root of six we can rewrite this now as in the following way if we've got now this whole part here says to me that this is six to the one third power that right there is going to be the one third in the same way that if we had the square root of six this would be six to the half x to the half is identical to root x so if we've got the nth root essentially this n will be here so now we're going to cube that our basic rules of indices says 3 times by 1 is 1 so this is going to be 6 what this is saying is take the cube root of 6 and cube it let's look at this one right here what we've got here is the following we've got 3 to the first power in most brackets and then we've got 2 to the 1 third power so Using our laws of indices, we're going to have 3 to the third power, which is going to be 27. And then that's going to be multiplied by 2 to the, thir the third power, uh, the 1 third power, raised to the third power, which is just going to give us 2 to the first power, which will give us 54. Okay. Let's look at this one. This is what I spoke of before. We can write root 3 over root 12 in the following way we can write it as the root of 3 over 12. The root of 3 over 12 simplifies to the root of 1 over 4, which of course gives us a simplified third of 1 half. All we're doing is making this easier for ourselves. We can write it like so, we can put it all under the root, we can simplify and we can use some basic arithmetic to sort those problems out. Here's another example. Let's think about what we've got here. We've got 2 to the 1 half power raised to the 5th power. Okay, And if we think what we're going to have, if you look at this, it's saying that we've got root 5, uh, so root 2 times by root 2, times by root 2, times by root 2, times by root 2. That's all we're going to have. So you can see what's going to happen. That'll make 2, that'll make another 2, and we'll be left with 4 root 2. Just be confident and be comfortable with them. And again, I'm very, very flexible in terms of the way you look at these. Root 8 plus 6 over root 2. We need to simplify this. We don't like um, irrational numbers in the denominator, so we're going to rationalise this. So it becomes root 8 plus 6 root 2 over two, uh, root 2 times by root 2. So we could write this now as root 8 plus this will give us 2 6 over 2 is 3 so plus 3 root 2 we can revert back to our understanding that root 8 is 2 root 2 plus 3 root 2 is going to be equal to 5 root 2 so we've not had to do anything too messy here we've just got it sorted again this one root 48 well root 48 is 16 times by 3 16 times by 3 is going to give us root 48 so automatically we could bring that 16 out and write it as 4 root 3 minus 10 root 3 over root 3 uh, multiplied by root 3 we're just rationalizing this so we've got 4 root 3 minus 10 root 3 over 3 we can write 4 root 3 as 12 root 3 over 3 minus 10 root 3 over 3 and then that will leave us now with 2 thirds root 3. If we look at that in the calculator, 
if we put it in as it is, root 48 minus 10 over root 3, we will see it's exactly what it's going to come up with, 2 thirds root 3. Okay. And that's a nice way of doing it. Remember, a lot of core 1 is going to be, well, all of core 1 is going to be non-calculator. Let's attack this one just here. Root 45, automatically, I know that that's going to give me 3 root 5. If we know, if we can see what we're going to do on that, it's 3 times by 3 times by root 5. So root 3 times by root 3 times by 5, which is going to give me 3 root 5. And then that's going to be minus 5. And then what we're going to get here, this is 2 root 5. So that one's going to be 2 root 5. At this stage, you've got a few different choices. The issue is multiplying 20 by 45. We want to try and avoid that. Now, your choices are as follows here. You can split this up if you like and say what we're going to have is 3 over 2. Root 5 over root 5 will cancel off, leaving us now with 5 over 2 root 5. And we can just rationalise this side. So we'll have 3 over 2 minus 5 root 5. Remember, we're just multiplying by root 5 over, and that's going to leave us 10. So we can simplify this further, and we can get 3 halves, and then it's going to be minus root 5 over 2, and we can combine that as 3 minus root 5 over 2. And again, if you put this in the calculator as it currently goes, and with that one, there are millions of different ways you can do it. And I'm not suggesting this is the only way or the best way. I kind of rotate on how I'm doing them there's plenty of different ways but if you want to put it in and then you'll see you end up now with 3 minus root 5 over 2 this one here I would look at the following and we'll do that one on the next one if we look at what we've got here root 6 now here we've got root 72 root 72 could be written in the following way it could be written as 6 root 2. And the reason being is that root 72, if you think about this, is 2 times by 36. Okay? So we can put it in this form. And if we have that, what we end up doing is the following. 2 times 36 will be 6 root 2. So we can write this whole fraction now as, and at this point I can write it as root 2 times by root 3 over 6 root root 2. If you think root 6 is going to give me now the um, root 2 times by root 3. So these will cancel. So all of that boils down to, in one of many different ways you can show it, root 3 over 6. So now we've got 2 over root 3, which we can simply rationalise, and we would end up with 2 root 3 over 3. And then we've got now 2 root 3 over 3 minus root 3 over 6, which we could write as 4 root 3 over 6 minus root 3 over 6. So uh, 4 over 6 root 3 minus root, six, uh, root 3 over 6. I think I said that wrong. Um, 4 over 6 root 3 minus root 3 over 6 will give us 3 over 6 root 3 or 1 half root 3. And again, if we put that for a calculator in its raw form, that is just one of the many ways you can do it. If you've done it a different way, absolutely fine. You might want to just write this as 6 over 72 and then rationalise from there. So you could write that as uh, one whole root. 6 over 72 is 1 over 12. And then bring the 2 out um, and have a root 3 that way and then rationalise the whole thing. There's just so many different ways you can do these. So if you've done it a different way, don't don't concern yourself it may even be more efficient okay let's see put that in now and this is what we're aiming for root 3 over 2 and it's exactly what we get okay let's move on this is a practical application the diagram shows a rectangle measuring 3 root 2 minus 3 centimeters by L centimeters given that the area of a rectangle is 6 centimeters squared 
find the exact value. Now, exact value means thirds, it means fractions, it means pi, it means that you do not decimalize your answer or truncate it in any way. So if, if we think about this, what we know is that the length times by the width is equal to the area. So what we've got now is the width is 3 root 2 minus 3 multiplied by this length, and that's going to equal 6. That's the area. So what we can say is length is going to be now equal to 6. And I'm going to be cheeky here. I'm going to factor this 3 out. 3, and we're going to have root 2 minus 1. Now hopefully you can see this is going to make our job slightly easier. So length is going to equal 2 over uh, root 2 minus 1. Now all we've got to do is rationalise it. So multiplying top and bottom by root 2 plus 1, root 2 plus 1, we're going to get two lots. And leave the brackets alone up top. Don't need to do anything with those. And then we know what we're going to get here. We're going to get this number squared, which is going to be 2 minus this one, which will give us 1. So if you want to expand that out long form, root 2 minus 1. Hopefully after a while you won't need to. Root 2 times by root 2 is 2 plus root 2 minus root 2 is your difference of squares, minus 1. So we can see this all turns to 1. So we can see from this that the length in its simplest form and in an exact form, in third form, will give us that right there. And that will be centimetres. So there's a practical application where you're simply rationalising. There's no depth to it, it's just reading the question. OK, um, these are pushing now into C1, or just general work with, um, with thirds. There's no great problem. Let's look at this one. x minus root 48 is equal to 2 root 3 minus 2x. Okay, if we look at if we just get the x's on one side now, so we've got x minus root 48 is equal to 2 root 3 minus 2x. So bring the 2x over this side, 3x, and add the root 48 to that side. It's going to give us 2, and I've done nothing that you wouldn't already be comfortable with in basic algebra. Let's now focus on this. If we prime factorise that, what we've actually got underneath is 4 times by 4 times by 3 or 4 root 3. Or you may even want to look at that as 16 times by 3. 16 is 4 root 3. So what we've got is 3x is equal to 2 root 3 plus 4 root 3. So 3x is equal to 6 root 3. And then x is equal to 2 root 3. So again, looks daunting, shouldn't be. Let's look at the next one. x root 18 minus root 4. Firstly, let's get the constant on the other side and isolate the term in x. So what we've got now is the following. Root 8 plus 4. If we divide both sides now by the root 18, we've isolated the value of x and we can start dealing with this. There's still some, um, some scope for uh, man manoeuvre on this one. If we look at what we've got now, we're going to have the following. If we look at root 8, we can write this now as 2 root 2 plus 4. And we could, we could write now root 18 as 3 root 2. OK? And at this stage, you could have done a lot of things. You can split that fraction up. You can factor it. So you could write it now as 2, the quantity root 2 plus 2 all over 3 root 2 and simply rationalise the top. So now if we rationalise root 2 root 2 then on the top we're going to get um, root 2 times by root 2 so we'll just distribute this first. Uh, we'll get 2 plus uh, 2 root 2 and then all of this is going to be over 3 times by 2 which is going to be 6. So again, you can cancel this off. That will become 3, uh, it'll become a 1 and 3. So we're left with 2 plus um, 2 root 2 over 3. Or you could even factor it out to say 2 thirds, 1 plus root 2. 
and looking about I may have taken an extra step or two but you can you can split that up if you want you could have said at this point that this was going to be uh, two thirds plus four over three root two and rationalize this simple part it's entirely up to you as long as you're playing by those rules okay let's finally do some of these express in the form x to the power of k well we've already discussed if we've got the root of x that is identical to x to the one half okay this one is slightly different what we've got now is x cubed square rooted so what we can write this now as x cubed square rooted so your value of k is 3 over 2 we've taken the square root Remember, that's a little 2 there of x cubed. Let's rewrite these. x to the 1 half power multiplied, and again, I'm using my dot for multiplication, x to the 1 third power. Our rules of indices says that we can add these. So it becomes x to the half plus a third, which is x to the 5 over 6. What have we got here? Well, we've got root uh, x to the power of 5. So this is going to be x to the 5 over 2. We've taken the square root and we've raised it to the fifth power. x to the half multiplied by x squared is going to give us x to the 2 and a half or x to the 5 over 2. We just added those. If we look at this one, we've got x to the 1 quarter at the top divided by x to the power of 1. 1 quarter minus 1 is going to give us x to the negative 3 over 4 or we could write this as 1 over x to the 3 over 4 so the term k is minus 3 quarters so there we go um, have we got any other bits and bobs? Oh, we can do these as well let's look at this one this one is going to be remember that's x to the half in the denominator 4x to the minus one half. This one we're going to have one half x to the minus one. We're in the denominator. We're going to have three quarters x to the minus three. If we look at this one, we're going to have one over nine x to the minus two. Two fifths x to the minus one third. We've got the cube root stuck down in that denominator. So there we go. Hopefully that's been a sort of a link between the two. And I've been winging it off the top of my head a little. So apologies if there are any uh, slight errors. And hopefully it hasn't detracted from the learning. Um, but ho hopefully it's taken place. Um, but if there are any slight um, arithmetic slips, apologies. But the main, the main learning points are there for you. So that, we've dipped into AS with that one. And certainly skills you will hopefully build fairly shortly.